Navigation while touring is super important and we've already done a video on navigation options on motorcycles. But all three of them don't really speak to me. A dedicated GPS unit is too specialized and too expensive for my needs and having a tablet it's stupid! And ever since phones have been getting more and more complex, I've not been putting my phones on the handlebars anymore. I find that no matter how good the vibration dampening is, I don't really want to risk my camera getting damaged. You know what I mean? So I've been using the Peak Design phone mount to mount my spare phone onto the handlebar and tether to my main phone to have internet and like have it route where I want to go and stuff like that. But it's not the best option. Having a spare phone just means that I have one more device that I have to worry about battery life and that's not what I really want to do, especially when I'm you know, touring. So Autocast has sent us their CarPlay C5 Lite and this promises Apple CarPlay and also Android Auto. Supposedly this will bring an older machine like ours into the modern age with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. But how good would it be to use this every day? First off, I'll have to install it and I might need some help with wiring. Also, full disclosure, Autocast has sent us this unit for free but received no compensation and we can say whatever we want basically. But if you guys would like to support the channel, you can use our affiliate link with Autocast. Links in the description. I mean, but watch the video first. Check it out, see whether you like it or not and see whether it works well. So about to get the fuse box installed, to clean all the wiring up because this is just a spaghetti mess. I have no idea what any of this means. I'm f bad at <laughs> electronics. So this is just got some to me. Tank is out and we are figuring out where all the rest of the... Well, he's figuring out where all the rest of this is leading to and cleaning things up. It's always a good idea to keep things tidy and not have random wires spliced onto your main wiring harness. On my Africa Twin, the fog lights, dash cam as well as the IU unit were all spliced together with the wires tied around the 7M fuse for the headlights. Not exactly the best practice. Having a good electronics wizard like Dennis here to clean things up is really a lifesaver and makes installing future accessories way easier. So everything is so neat now. And all the fuse and all the wiring is so much neater. We just spent about half an hour wrestling with the tank to get it back in. And we dropped the little plastic piece and it disappeared into the abyss of the engine bay but we found it back. The tank is back on. We're almost there. Thanks to Dan's OCD levels of cable management, all I had to worry about was mounting the C5 onto my bike. A RAM ball and u was included in the box, but because I wanted to install the C5 dead center on my dash, the clunky RAM mount didn't make it easy to secure the unit in the position that I wanted, and I had to resort to using zip ties to make sure that the unit isn't going anywhere. If I were to be a bit more anal about it, I would get other mounting options on AliExpress, but this would have to do for now. Oh, it seems to take a while to data loading. So it takes a little while before it loads into the system software. Still loading. How long has it been? Like 30 seconds? Okay, because I'm using an iPhone, I will be using CarPlay. System settings, wallpaper, language, date and time. Date and time is very wrong. 11, seems like it's running Android, I think. Any? Dev options, no, no developer options. I can feel the touch refresh rate is a little bit low. Use CarPlay. Are we good? Hey, we're good. Okay, I'll have to use this for a little bit to figure out and see, you know, how useful it is. But so far, pretty good. My main goal was to replace my phone on the handlebar, which I only use for navigation. And after using the Autocast CarPlay C5 Lite for the past month, I have to say it far exceeded my expectations. There are some things that I didn't like of course. Even though it is waterproof, it's only rated for IPX7 which means no dust resistance but I don't foresee myself doing hardcore off-roading on my twin. It also takes a while to boot up and get into CarPlay but doesn't really bother me if I turn the bike on before putting on my gear. By the time I have my head buff, triple3.com, helmet and gloves on, the unit is connected and ready to go. Another minor annoyance is the fact that the unit's boot image is a photo of a GSA which is a nice bike but still gave me a bit of an ache seeing it on my Africa Twin. After some trial and error, I was able to replace it by inserting a 32GB microSD in FAT32 format with the logo and boot bin on it. And this honestly made me like the C5 so much better. This method isn't officially supported by Autocast, so do so at your own risk. The device also doesn't have an ambient light sensor, so switching between day and night screen brightness, which you can set up for yourself, would have to be done manually by tapping an icon on the screen. 
Speaking of the screen brightness, right now in dark mode, it's a little bit hard to see. So let me see whether uh, always show the automatic. Having it in day mode actually is a lot easier to see as compared to night mode. I would say, yeah, during the day, if it's in night mode, it's a little bit hard to see. Like, all this just looks black to me. In day mode, it's perfectly fine. Apart from these minor complaints, the CarPlay C5 Lite has been working flawlessly. The unit stays securely on the bike and is easily visible without taking my eyes off the road. It's also quite a hassle to even remove it from the bike, which gives me some confidence in terms of theft deterrence. The touchscreen was also surprisingly responsive, which unfortunately doesn't show up well on camera. Searching for directions, even with riding gloves, have been a breeze. At $259, US this is an awesome upgrade for the bike if all you need is a device for CarPlay or Android Auto, without the fancy add-ons provided by more expensive offerings. If you'd like to get yourself a unit, use promo code 33350 at checkout. Using our affiliate link in the description would greatly help the channel out. With that, I'm Jake, and we'll see you on the road.